Patterns of Culture, by Ruth Benedict is a seminal work in the field of anthropology that explores the diversity of human cultures and the role of cultural patterns in shaping human behavior. Published in 1934, this book remains influential for its innovative approach to understanding cultures as integrated systems of beliefs, values, and practices. Benedict's work challenges ethnocentrism and offers a nuanced perspective on cultural relativism, emphasizing the significance of cultural diversity in the human experience. One of the central ideas in Patterns of Culture is the concept of cultural configurations. Benedict argues that each culture develops a unique set of patterns or configurations that shape the way individuals within that culture perceive the world and interact with it. These configurations are not arbitrary but are deeply rooted in the cultural history and values of a society. For example, Benedict contrasts the Pueblo and Dobu cultures to illustrate how different configurations of cultural values can lead to distinct social norms and behaviors. In the Pueblo culture, cooperation and harmonious living with nature are valued, resulting in a society characterized by stability in a deep connection to the land. Conversely, the Dobu culture emphasizes competition and distrust, leading to a more aggressive and conflict-prone social structure. Benedict's analysis highlights how these cultural configurations influence not only the behavior of individuals but also the overall coherence of a society. Benedict's approach to cultural relativism is a key theme in the book. She challenges the notion that one culture is superior to another and argues that each culture should be understood on its own terms. This perspective encourages us to suspend judgment and appreciate the richness of human diversity. By studying different cultures and their unique patterns, we gain a deeper understanding of the breadth of human potential and the ways in which culture shapes our lives. Another significant aspect of Benedict's work is her examination of the relationship between culture and personality. She posits that cultures mold individuals' personalities, influencing their emotions, motivations, and behaviors. To support this argument, she presents case studies of individuals from various cultures, demonstrating how their personalities align with the dominant cultural patterns. Benedict's research challenges the idea of a universal human nature, suggesting that our understanding of human nature is culturally mediated. In Patterns of Culture, Benedict also explores the role of cultural symbols and rituals. She argues that symbols serve as a bridge between individual experiences and the larger cultural patterns. Symbols encode cultural meanings and values, allowing individuals to communicate and make sense of their world. Rituals, in turn, are formalized expressions of these symbols, reinforcing cultural norms and fostering a sense of belonging. For example, the Kwakiutl potlatch is a ceremonial event that embodies their cultural values of generosity and reciprocity. Furthermore, Benedict discusses the impact of cultural patterns on morality and ethics. She demonstrates that what may be considered morally virtuous in one culture can be viewed as morally reprehensible in another. For instance, the Zuni people's tolerance for homosexuality contrasts sharply with the Western Judeo-Christian perspective. This exploration highlights the fluidity and subjectivity of moral codes, challenging the notion of a universal moral framework. In conclusion, Patterns of Culture by Ruth Benedict is a groundbreaking work that has left a lasting impact on the field of anthropology. Through her examination of cultural configurations, cultural relativism, the relationship between culture and personality, symbols, rituals, and morality, Benedict offers a profound insight into the complexity and diversity of human cultures. Her work encourages us to appreciate the richness of human experience and to approach other cultures with empathy and an open mind, 
ultimately contributing to a more inclusive and tolerant world.